Thank you, Mr. Bacon. Precisely the reason I have invited you here. I will not to pick our pockets, but we have a lock that needs picking. Precisely. Take this. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Do you mean perhaps even the great Sherlock Holmes and need my felonous ways? Unbelievable, huh? You need me, the most famous of all pickpocketers. <laughs> all these years you've never learned a single thing from me. Now don't they books of which you can learn? Just open the lock, would you? Certainly. Why wouldn't I? There it's must be something you want inside. No, nothing at all. It's just or perhaps a bit something for all of us inside. Say it. Are you going to open the book or not? <laughs> of course I will. But first you must agree to one minor stipulation. And what might that might be? be? I can have of whatever's inside, of course. No, well, what? Well, we don't even know what's in there. I'll go to the treasure map. Shh. Then I won't have the treasure. Uh, or you shan't reap the benefits of my talents. <laughs> one quarter. And only if the treasure can be easily divided. You must take me for a fool. Well, well actually, it, Mr. Fang, I have that thief you've been searching for. Fine. I'll pick the Lord, but I do so under protest. Do it anyway, you black Just do it. Just thank you. What? Well? Are you getting it? Are you getting it? Shh! Silence! I must have absolute silence. No one moving about. What? No one looking around. Absolute silence. Sense. Seriously, Dave? No, I just like when my demands on it. Oh, what <laughs> Criminals can be quite sentimental. I'm a stranger at times, if you haven't noticed. Yes, this one's very strange. It is. And as the great thief Alibaba once said, open sesame. Yes? He's not gonna open it. What do you think? <gasps> oh, it's not a book at all. It's a place to hide valuables. And what a valuable it is. A diamond necklace. Oh, How's it look, Megan? But you said I could have half. It said one quarter, and only if the treasure can be easily divided. Clearly, this necklace cannot. It's not fair, I say, not fair. I did a dishonest day's of work, and I expect a dishonest day's of pay. <laughs> You'll get nothing of the kind. Now, come, Robin, help me get rid of this thief before I just need something else from us. Ah, uh, he can't stop. steal anything from me. I've got no pockets to pick. Honestly, oh, Sherlock. Honestly. Oh, honestly. Really, just get down out of here. Where was me? Where was me? I've been cheating on my unfair share. Shut up. Get up. Yeah. <laughs> hey, where's me pennies? That guy stole my pennies! <laughs> A curious thing indeed. Who hid there, Mr. Holmes? I can't say for certain. But I do know one thing. This necklace was stolen! <gasps> wow, well, stolen? Yeah. How do you know? Did you find a clue? Or suspicious hair inside the compartment? Or a fingerprint on the clasp? Not at all. I wrote a story about it in the newspaper. <laughs> it's my reading. A stolen necklace <laughs> right here in a likely story? Alas, if Miss Margie gets caught with a stolen necklace, she'll be thrown in jail for sure. We have to warn her. We have to but find how? Her. Have to how can we warn her? Up to you there. Look, sunlight is coming through the window. <gasps> Hurry, we have to clean this place up. We don't have time. Miss Margie will be falling down the stairs in any moment. Jeez. She can't just even a glimpse of us on being kaput. But we made such a mess. Leave it. Once this Margie finds the necklace, she'll know what to do. Yes, I now come on, let's get out of here. Come on, let's get out! Out, out of Yes. But certainly Miss Margie will see it here. It will discover the necklace. Alright. Right. Come on, let's go. After you. After you. No, I insist. <laughs> after you. I insist after you. Get out of here. We have to go. <laughs> <laughs> Abandoned ship. Oh, now we can see if they left any booty. <laughs> well, nothing over here. Except for. Uh, a, a carrot! That's worthless junk! How peculiar. Oh, a book with a lock on it. Well, Captain Flint, locks mean treasure. Oh, this must be a secret treasure chest. Now, if I'm doing me math right, treasure means pirates. Oh, Captain Flint, I'm a pirate. That must mean... Oh, this treasure is for me! Oh, a pirate's life for me! <laughs> so angry. 
it's just me hands are shaking. <laughs> Come on, oh, blessed. There we go. <gasps> Shiver me timbers! The necklace made of the finest diamonds.
come in and try to sell me a book she couldn't unlock. Oh, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about thieves. I'm talking about criminals. I'm talking about these bad teeth, scars, and maybe a tattoo or two. Yes. Wait, I thought you didn't know what they looked like. Oh, all criminals have bad teeth, war with scars, and tattoos and pieces. <laughs> well, all right. I haven't seen anyone like that, but I'll let you know if I do. Oh, well, that would be not nice, eh? After all, these citizens like you are the mouth and the stomach of the police force. <laughs> Don't you mean the eyes and ears of the police force? Oh, no, when it's this close to second breakfast. You do know about second breakfast. I'm hungry. <laughs> now, you if I was you, I'm not. But if I was, I'd be sure to keep a keen eye on them thieves. Now, if I was the other you, I'd be sure to keep my eyes and ears looking out for anything that just might be a wee bit out of the ordinary. Interesting. Out of the ordinary. If you catch my meaning. Yeah, pretty sure I got it. Oh, I know. Guess I'll be leaving then. Have a jolly day. Don't forget what we talked about. Of course not. Alright. Oh, well, off to me second breakfast. Cheerio, me good lady. Cheerio. Uh, goodbye, Officer Ketchum. You keep a look out there and I'll keep a good keen eye in here. Um, you do that. Fine. <laughs> Bumblerina, did you hear that? Thieves. Oh, how exciting! Oh, I wish they'd come here and give them a good drubbing with my quarterstaff, just like Robin Hood used to do. Oh! <gasps> <laughs> now, I better get these things out of the way. But, first thing tomorrow morning, I want you to return them to whomever you stole them from. inside of a book. Step three, the lady in red sells the book to a used bookstore. Step four, we buy the book from the same used bookstore. Step five, we give the book to the boss. Oh, that's too many steps to remember. Well, it's for the boss's protection. You don't want the lady in red to know who he is in case she gets caught. Oh, okay. Hey, wait a minute. What if we get caught? Who cares? We ain't doing nothing illegal. We're just buying the book. Oh, yeah. Well, there sure are a lot of books here. How are we supposed to know which one has jewels in it? Well, the boss told me to look for one book in particular. He even made me repeat the title again and again and again and again and again and again and again, so I'd remember it. Oh, really? What's the title? I forget. <laughs> <laughs> but I know the book has a lock on it. How about this one, Eddie? Treasure Island. Sounds like it might have jewels in it. Does it have a lock on it? Nah. Then that ain't the book we're looking for. <laughs> oh, hello. How can I help you? Hey, uh, are you the book lady? I am the proprietor of this bookshop, yes? Uh, excuse me, Good, please uh, do not throw the books. Good, though. Well, my name's Eddie, and this is my business partner, uh, Fingers. Fingers? Uh, yeah, family name and all. Uh, you should meet my cousin, Thumb. <laughs> okay, I see. Um, what type of business are you in? Uh, business? Well, our business partners, you must be in some type of business. Oh, right, uh, uh, hey, Fingers, uh, she wants to know what business we's in. Monkey. <laughs> uh, she means, uh, we's in the monkey business. Uh, we import monkeys. And we export them, that's right, import and export. We send them out, then we send them right back. The same monkeys? Yeah, monkeys are very active creatures. They don't like to do a lot of sitting around. <coughs> uh, who's hoping you could help us find a, a, a book? A book on monkeys? Well, if you've come to the right place, I've got thousands of books, even books just on monkeys. Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, we was looking for one book in particular. Oh, well, what's the name of it? That's just it. Uh, we don't know. Um, well, can you tell me what it's about? Oh, it's about this big. No, no, no. What's inside? It's contents. <gasps> oh, I know this! Jewels! What? Jewels? <laughs> You'll have to excuse Fingers. Uh, she means uh, the book is a jewel. Uh, it's very well written. Ain't that right, Fingers? Yeah, it's got some good words and stuff. <laughs> well, <laughs> um, that's not a lot to go on. 
There are so many well-written books, we call them classics. Perhaps you've read... <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> um, could this be the book? Nah, that ain't it. Is there something wrong with this book? Uh, I know. Challenging words. Yeah, uh, yeah, it, it opens too easy. It opens too easily. Yeah, the book we're looking for, it, it don't open. Okay, a book that doesn't open. Um, is it a decoration? A prop for play, perhaps? No, you see, we don't really read. We're, we're just gonna smuggle it. What? <laughs> uh, snuggle, uh, she said, uh, snuggle, you know, we're gonna snuggle with it, uh, hold it real close to our cheeks, uh, sleep with the next to our pillows, uh, hold it real close to our hearts, so uh, you know, uh, snuggle. Okay, um, <laughs> I mean, I love books and all, but I never thought to snuggle them. But, um, perhaps you should just look for this book yourself. We can do that? Well, of course you can do that, just... Put the books away when you're finished and treat them nicely, like you would like to be treated. Yeah, you got a book, lady. <laughs> this ain't it. That ain't it either. <laughs> hey, Eddie, I'm not finding it. Well, keep yours looking. This is the place. It's got to be here somewhere. Things. A necklace? 
Whose necklace? Maybe it was Scarlet's. No, while Robin was looking for his hat that Bob Ballerina stole, Mr. Holmes discovered a new book on the shelf. Once Fagin unlocked the book, we discovered a diamond necklace hidden inside. <laughs> and then Big Bird flew in and swallowed the bookworm! The story you're telling makes no sense. <laughs> and your story does? Let's face it, none of our stories really make sense. But they're good stories, all in all. Okay, listen, here's the real problem. If Miss Marge gets caught with a stolen necklace... Stolen? No one said anything about stolen! <laughs> How do you know it's stolen? <laughs> Mr. Holmes read about it in Elendale Times. Anyway, we opened the book and there it was. Now if Miss Margie were to be caught and accused of stealing the necklace, she'd be in prison. And we all know what that means. The bookshop would be kaput, closed, gone forever! <gasps> and that means... Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Party. 
Guess I missed my invitation. Nevertheless, would have just locked them all away anyways. <gasps> What's this? A new book? A locked book? Or shall I say, an unlocked book? A diamond necklace. Sure it belonged to Glinda. I think I'll just wear it for a while before I perhaps give it back to her someday. I couldn't be happier. Look what I've got. A fairy tale plot. My very own happy ending. Here. It's a red that is not what I'm talking about. This is bad for the bookshop. 
I know Miss Marty like I know the back of my perfectly chiseled hand. <laughs> she would never steal a necklace. Perhaps she recognized the necklace was stolen and turned it over to the proper authorities. Yes. Oh. But if she doesn't have the necklace by the time those thugs get back, they'll do something terrible. I'm not clear. I'm the finest archer in all of England. We could ask Granny what to do. She always knows what to do in strange and peculiar situations. No! We have to think this one through. There must be something we can do to help Miss Marty, yet while not being seen. Uh. I know! We can leave Miss Marty a note! And sign it! From all the characters inside your book. Exactly. No, Mrs. Wright, we cannot give ourselves away. No, but we could sign it from a concerned friend. Miss Marty would never know it was us. A brilliant suggestion, Dorothy. Just brilliant. I don't know why you thought of it first, though. Well, I do. Well, I think that it's because. Glenda taught me. Whenever I'm looking for my heart's desire again, I don't have to look any further than my own backyard. Because if it isn't there, I never really lost it to begin with. Really? Uh, uh, good observation. Yet, it has nothing to do with the problem at hand. No. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Sierra. That's a splendid idea. No, Lord, we needed someone to serve as a scrub. Not me. Sounds like too much schoolwork. Uh, I'll write it. I have the best pen and in my class. Uh, of course yes, you do, Polly Ann. Whenever you're ready. Yes. I'm ready. Very good. Now write down exactly what I say. Dear Miss March, we don't wish to alarm you. Oh, have you got mad of course we wish to alarm her? That's the whole idea for writing the ding note. Oh. <laughs> we wish to alarm you. As there are a pair of scuffed The word is rough ends. Bad guys. Hey, we'll return tomorrow for a diamond neck, this thing's place. This late. Lost. Stop it! Be on your guard as he may cause you a grievous affliction. Great injury. Ah. Do you have it all? I think so. Now leave it down the counter, Miss Marjorie. You'll be certain to see it in the morning. So, yes. Very good. Let's get out here. Let's go. Well, should I. That was a rather well written note, don't you think? Well, it's not as gripping as an author Conan Doyle would pen, but <laughs> it'll do. Now, after you. Oh, I insist after you. After you? After you. Ah, but you win this time just as once. <laughs> inside that cookbook and decided to keep it for yourself. I never did. I, I promise I didn't. Playing dumb, huh? Well, maybe you'll get some smarts in you if we rough you up a little. Rough me up all you want. I don't have the necklace. That ain't no good, Fingers. If you wanted to hand over the goods, you are threatening her about something she really cares about. Like what? Like books. 
Wait, huh? What do you mean? You saw how upset she got. We roughed up. We dropped a couple of her books on the floor. Imagine what she'd do if we roughed up just one of her books. Please don't, please don't hurt the books. Oh, I'm not gonna hurt it. I'm just gonna bend it a little. <gasps> then you gonna give us the necklace or ain't you? I told you I don't have the necklace. I never did. Right. Please don't. Do you remember where it is now? <gasps> <laughs> Wait, yes, yes, I mean, I told you not to eat downstairs. I have the necklace, I just, not, I don't have it right now. Oh yeah, what happened to it? I, um, I had to take it somewhere, but I can get it back. Oh, you can get it back. Are you sure? Yes, yes, I can get it back. I just, I need a day or two. All right, fine. You got your hands on that necklace, I gives you one day. But if the necklace ain't back inside this book, Butter Mall, I'll do the same thing to the rest of these books. And maybe even a bit worse. Do you get me? Yeah, I get ya. Good. Now come on, Fingers, let's get out of here. Ned! No. Bumperina, they tore the spine. And they tore out the introduction. And the adventures of Sherlock Holmes, too. Well, Lorena, what am I going to do? I have to get a necklace that looks just like this one. Maybe if I buy a necklace and give it to those of them, they'll think it's the one they lost. You'll be all right here alone, won't you? No, 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 no. Oh, good. I knew I could count on you. <laughs> now remember, we take all major credit cards, but no out-of-town checks. And remember to give each customer the receipt.